I know that I have tried. Because I've been working now for, if not more than 30 minutes. Personally, I feel like, oh wow. So this is how this place is. And a lot has been said about this place. This is like Canada. Everybody said Canada. Canada. Hey, Canada. Say Canada. Okay guys. A beautiful day to you wherever you are in the world. I remain your G Arenga. Okay now. Today I'm going to show you the longest street in the world. Yes. I'm sure some of you might just be hearing it for the first time. But to my own surprise, and I'm sure it's gonna be surprised, uh, surprising to you people as well that uh, the longest street in the world is here in Toronto, Canada. Yes. And the name is Younger Street. Is it Young Street or Younger Street? I don't know. But that is the name. So it starts all the way from there down to this place. So what we're going to do is this. I learned the source um, where the street starts from is from this side. Yes. It's from that side, which there's a river there. So I want to try and see if I can get to that river and show you the street, you know, as long as it is. But I won't be able to go through the whole street. Because what we're talking about, uh, the street is like about 56 kilometers. And which is around the 34 miles. You can see that that is very long. But I will just take you around the street so that you see what the street, the longest street in the whole world, looks like here in Toronto, Canada. Follow me, guys. So there's something I've observed here. I, I can see that uh, they have uh, skyscrapers, uh, buildings here, a lot. Yes, and they said that this place is a uh, downtown. Yeah. So. So I'm going to see if I'll be able. I should be able to track down to the. Uh, starting point of the street. We have many shelves around. This is like a restaurant, okay. Tim Hortons Coffee House. I learned that is uh, one of the most popular uh, restaurants in uh, Canada. It's virtually everywhere. Every province you visit in Canada, you have that. <sighs> this is a little. Uh, garbage here. Yeah? And see how clean the road is. The streets, everything is clean. Let's see if we have uh, one or two places that are dirty. Let's see, but that's not why we are here. We are here to show you what the longest longest street in the world younger streets
so those are shops you can see you have a Yi, Yi, Yi Fang, you have a um, nails attraction, there's a uh, ear cuts for men and ladies, ABC books. You have a lot of shops, both left and right, everywhere. Shops everywhere. Guys, my hands, my hands are freezing now, right now. My fingers are no longer mine. There are a lot of constructions going on here and there. Wow, this is beautiful. I guess this is nearly completed and uh, yet to be occupied. Guys, let me know what you think about Canada. Just leave a comment in the comment section and tell me what you think about Canada. Um, it's freezing here. Someone was telling me that if you want to visit Canada and enjoy Canada, you come during winter. I don't know if that is correct, but what about you, someone that is coming from a hot weather like Nigeria, just like I am, coming down to this place. I don't think such person will find it funny or interesting, seriously. Try to see how long this street is, and uh, I'll try and see as much as I can to see if I can get to the the riverside or waterside or seaside. I don't know where the the street starts from. So. Wow, look at this building, guys. We have tall, tall buildings here. Don't get me wrong, we do have in Nigeria as well. Uh, but it's not, it's that uh, maybe when you go to Drummond or so, Lagos Island, where you have all these uh, big, big offices, so you can see all this kind of. Uh, skyscrapers there so let's wait it's like we can move now That's McDonald's. Is it Broad Street that looks like this where you have buildings like this in Lagos Island? I don't know, just leave a comment if you know. But I'm not used to Highland. I stayed in the mainland. 
So I don't know much about Island. Look at these mouth-watering burgers. Sometimes I feel like just crossing and running anyhow. <laughs> you know the way you do it in Nigeria now? I feel like when I get to where you see all these uh, cars, junctions, where they want to come out, I feel like, oh, maybe I should just run and cross. But well, later on, uh, I will now come back to my senses that it's like, no, I'm a, I'm a Nigeria you do. This one the Canada to run to. So that there's a way you feel when you get uh, to a new country yeah that's the way you feel especially when it comes to a country where you have been looking forward to maybe you've heard a lot about that country and you just feel like oh let me visit the country and feel so tell me how do you usually feel as a person when you get there to me, personally, I feel like, oh wow, so this is how this place is. And a lot has been said about this place. It's just like Canada. Everybody say, Canada, Canada, hey, Canada, hey, Canada. <laughs> you see, that's the stuff going on on all social medias in Nigeria, TikTokers, bloggers, every one of them. They must say something about Canada. Canada this, Canada that, Canada this, Canada that. Canada that. And here, at last, Arenga is now here in Canada. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we still have a lot to talk about. Personally, uh, most of my videos I'll be doing it to inspire you people out there that you can actually, you know, get it. Just dream it. Dream it and you will have it. If you can dream it, you can have it. Yes. So don't lose hope, no matter what, don't lose hope, just keep, keep on pushing, keep on pushing it until you get it, until you make it, until you are there. Don't allow anybody to discourage you, whatever you want to do in life, just be determined, be focused and be consistent. Be positive about it above all. If you are positive about it, you will definitely get it. Yes, be positive about it. Whatever at all you want to do in life, just be positive about it and you will get it. So, that's just my advice. Don't let anybody deceive you. There's life after life. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. There is what? There's life after life. So, if you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't. So we are still on the streets, you can still see, that's it, Younger Street. I think I can move now. Oh, 
be eh? Cars do <laughs> wait for people. <laughs> oh wow. Don't get me wrong. Cars do wait for people too also in Nigeria. Only that there are some places that you go to. The car they will not tell you that cars don't wait for people here. You yourself will not want to kill yourself. You don't want you don't want to die. You don't want to get injured or eat by vehicle. So you will have to be smart. Mm, yeah, you have to be smart. Wow, this building is tall. global gifts so if you want to buy gifts for anybody you can go there and get your gifts so this video is going to be a straight video going to be a straight video it's gonna be raw footage I'm not going to cut anything so I just want you guys to be here with me that's what we are going to do here in Canada I want you guys to feel here with me I want you to be here with me yes I want to carry you along with me to everywhere I visit or go to here in Canada we are all going to do it together. So if you have anywhere or any type of content in mind that you want me to create for you here in Canada, just let me know. Leave a message. I will definitely try my best possible to bring it down to your screen. You know, I've been working for almost uh, 20 minutes now. And I wasn't walking slow. I wasn't walking slow. This my left fingers, the one that I use in carrying this uh, camera. I can't feel it anymore, so I have to dip it inside my pocket 
my winter jacket uh, pockets so that it can warm it up for me a bit again. Man, it isn't easy. I don't know if uh, there's water in the screen because uh, it's drizzling a bit. It's drizzling a bit. Like this junction is busy. Okay, I think we can see go. We can see go. This place is like, uh, is there a bus station or what? I don't know. What did they write there? Let's look at where we are coming from, far away. I've been walking for over 20 minutes now. This is a city sightseeing bus. If you are a tourist and you are here for the first time, you can and you have enough money. You can go for that bus. They take you around. You see the city. Oh. 
This is the restaurant, brewers, three brewers. Look at those bikes. So they are for rentage. You can just rent them and use it, take it wherever you want to go to. They are faster. I don't know how much. We saw something like that in France. Yeah, we saw something like that in France as well. This street is still long. Wow. That's why I said I'm not going to cut this. So it's just going to be a, a straight video for everyone to see. And that will give you a year of what um, the Toronto downtown also look like. I'm trying to see if I can get to where the street starts from. They said it's like a, there's a water or river or what, what I call it there. This looks like a subway. And there's it here. That's the Queen Station. I'm sorry to say this. You can see that the street is hardly to see a police checkpoint except maybe construction uh, spot where they barricade some of these areas just to you know, make it easier for uh, vehicles to, to pass. So that's where you have all this. But I'm sorry, I have to say it. From where I come from, I don't know. Is it crime that is just too much there that makes the policemen to be at the check, to be at checkpoints? to create different checkpoints everywhere 
And while they are there, you see them stopping vehicles every minute, every second, just to make sure that many of them, they extort money from people. They extort money from people. And at the same time, at the same time, they just don't do what is right. So that is the problem we are facing right now. So Wait. let's see, maybe we will soon get to, you can see a place where things work. See that? I don't know. If our policemen are to be here, they will cause more traffic. They will be here collecting money, asking unnecessary questions. Honestly, our orientation needs to change in Nigeria. And then we are the ones doing ourselves. You understand? So, I don't know. There's this something, I'm going to make a video talking about all this uh, bribery and corruption going on in most especially police force. And I will tell you the reason why they are doing themselves. Yes, if you agree with me, you let me know. If you don't, no problem. But there's something I'm going to discuss that has to do with why the police are very poor in Nigeria. Exactly. I guess I'm getting closer to the starting point of this street. Oh. We are waiting for green lights. We have it everywhere. Some will not wait. Some will wait. I think we are supposed to move when, yeah, you can see. Guys, let me know what you feel about this video. If you want longer videos like this, let me know. Just let me know if you want long videos like this. The video is going to be as long as the streets, just like people say about the streets, as in the longest street in the world. I never knew that uh, the longest street in the world is here in Toronto, here in Canada. So we're going to see it together. And I want to see if I can get to where the street starts from. So from there, I know that I have tried. Because I've been walking now for, if not more than 30 minutes. Okay, now I can move. I can see a bridge an overhead bridge over there. Perhaps that 
might be where the the street starts from. However, one thing I love about uh, moving around, but I don't like sitting down in one place, but when I'm at home in Lagos, I become so lazy that I find it difficult when I'm not doing anything. Maybe I'm home, I just sit down and you see me, you know, getting fat, just eating. <laughs> so, but when I travel, I exercise my body by trekking, walking, moving around, you know, going to different places. So just like we're doing right now. So. Man, it's freezing here, guys. Yeah. Let me explain the lens. Oh. Remember in Switzerland we saw a trail like this. I'm waiting for the green light. I need to cross to this side. So there are a lot of constructions going on here and there. another street guys so let's see if
I think I'm getting used to it. Guys, this street is far. I don't know how far is it again from here. Like I said, construction everywhere. I'm just waiting for the traffic light. So I'll see if I can get you guys uh, to the starting point. But if not, I will have to... Oh, sorry. That's a green light. So guys, um, I'm very sorry, the, the battery went down, flat completely, so, but we're not going to give up, we will still get to where we are going, but I think I'm seeing where the street starts from, that is the longest street in the whole universe. <laughs> Ah, man. Wow, ah, Arenga, you need to walk fast. Okay? Oh my God. So guys, we are almost there. I want us to get to the starting point of Younger Street, which is the longest street in the whole world. The street is 56 kilometers and uh, 34 miles, yeah, which is equivalent to 34 miles or so, yeah. So that's what uh, the street. It's a, as long as you can see, I've been walking, I've been trekking for almost an hour now. 
So we're going to get to the starting point. Guys, I have to trek back home. I have to trek back. I need it. I really need exercise. So guys, this is where the street, the longest street in the world, which is known as Young Street, starts from in Toronto, Canada. So I was told to get down to this place. So. This is where the street starts from. Oh my God. So that's Toronto Harbour Water Taxi. In case you want to take a taxi. Arenga, you know you cannot swim. You don't know how to swim. You can see water everywhere. Please, don't go beyond this place. Do you hear that? Yes, I'm talking to you, Arenga. Don't go beyond this place. Mm. Don't go beyond this place. So, this is where the street starts from. The longest street in the world. Wow, guys, look at this building. If you need yacht, if you want to rent a yacht for a party for a party or whatever you want to do, or get together and you have your money, you can go there, contact them there. They will get you a beautiful one. It's your money. Just pay for it. So, oh wow, where Toronto starts. Can you see that guys? One young is it young or young i don't know but i'm sure those of you that know this place will know what it is what is called the correct pronunciation so this is it this is where uh uh the longest street in toronto starts from let me see I don't know if that can stand as a thumbnail. Okay. So guys, um, it is on this note that I want to say thank you to each and every one of you that have made it to the end. If you have made it to the end, I say thank you. Thank you very much. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video. Leave a comment. Let me know where you are watching from. And uh, make sure you share the video. Just share this video. I'm sure you guys can see that I'm really trying my best possible to bring to you, you know, wonderful, you know, content, interesting content, special content. So all you need to do is just what? Just to watch, subscribe, share, like. But most of you, you don't like the video. Is it that? Is it that I don't? I don't know what to say. I'm just tired though. Eh? Please, I beg, Biko, Biko, no. And there's one thing I've noticed. I observe that my audience, I have over 50% eh? watching my videos from Nigeria. So if you guys are watching my videos from Nigeria, why can't you share this video? You know, Arenga is trying. I don't fake things. 
I don't do things to impress people. I'm your real guy, your real G. I bring it to you the way it is. So, please support this channel by subscribing, like, and share the video. Leave a comment. That one is very important. Let me know where you are watching the video from. Okay? So, till I see you in the next video, I say, yeah, in Canada, we we'll speak English and French. So, I will say, goodbye. And then, au revoir. Ha, 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 ha.